Sorry. I do live here though. Property prestige is the principal proof of a prominent plot. Press the green button. It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations, you've increased your new property value by a quarter of a percent. That is 278% more than I guess receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Let's, um... Let's buy... We've got 400 pounds! Let's go. Grab that and grab that. And then, yeah. Piss off. I'm, I'm being a bit... I'm gonna wait for him to go, because he's gonna get scared. Oh, there, 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 there's, there's a lady. Hello, I did the thing. Did you get that bus stop fixed? Yeah, I did. Approving bear noises. That's great news, bud. Aha, uh -huh. Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Took on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste of stolen baloney. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. <laughs> I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, any time you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash, slap on a sign. Oh, Oliver's toolbox. Uh, visit the shop to find new items. And boom, I'll drive you there anytime. <laughs> Hank, Hank, where are you? I'm here, bro. <laughs> Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony and he taught me how to find some lumber and then we made a bed for humans and... And where did you find the alligator weed? Oh no, we, we didn't find any of that, just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also had to use some cotton. Hank? Yes? Mum! There it is. I completely forgot, oh my gosh, we have to go home. Dude, I literally went home and she gave me money. Bus stations. Broken bus stations can be found throughout the world. Repairing a bus station in an area unlocks fast travel. Bus posters can be found in Oliver's shop. Okay. Yo, just stop coming near the bear if you're scared of it. Christ. Okay, uh, I'm gonna see what's in Oliver's shop real quick. Just cause, you know, there might be some stuff. Oh, the loggers. Okay. So we do actually need these things, which is fine. Um. What the hell is Nook doing? Look at him. Little scallywag. Uh, took, sorry, not Nook. Took. Took. Um. Hand painted drawers. I mean, we don't have another bedroom. But we could do with some shelves and stuff, right? You know? Put some. Put a little possum clock. I don't need money. I do want this. It's a hundred and. A hundred and fifty? Scented sticks. Okay. Stop buying things. Stop it. No, get out the way, Nook. Took. Book. We do need more stuff, though, to be fair. Mm -mm -mm. So, I've got these beds. Uh, and obviously I've now got better beds. Um, so can I like swap it? Maybe. Uh, right, uh, we've got like a shelf and stuff. Oh, bruh. Let's put that there. Ah, oh, scented, oh, this? Yeah! Oh. Yeah, look, we got our little plants and everything! I want. Where's my. Rug. I want a little rug. Hello? I want a rug right here. Oh! Beautiful! Absolutely bloody beautiful, that! Never seen anything so pretty in my life. Uh, you can have some smelly sticks because it stinks in there. Sauce, mate. Nice. 
Nice. Can we build anything? Uh, wooden footrest, simple wooden wardrobe. We can. Let's go. Oh my god, that's shoe mongoose. That's too big, bro. I mean, we've built it now. It's got to go in there, but we'll move that. We'll move it. Right, come on. Got to go to Mima. Got to see what Mum wants. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. This place is creepy. I don't like. I don't like the creepiness of this place. Let's get some humans up in here. The thicket. Hank, kids. We're right here. Hank, where have you been? My goodness gracious. You saw me yesterday, Mum. Are you alright? Did something happen? I'm okay, Mum. Nothing happened. Alright, good. What was in that thick head of yours? And you? I didn't even say anything. You put him up to this again, didn't you? No, Mum. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days. <laughs> Humans are coming back. And another thing. They are what? And we're helping. I see. Well, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're going to get more to visit and they'll bring money and trash and we'll get to learn all about them. And I get to make stuff for them. Me? Tony taught me how to build a bed and I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there's nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mum. I'm not going anywhere. I just... It feels nice to do something out there for a change. Something helpful. I know it does, dear. For now, at least. You're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah. We gotta go check on our humans. <gasps> I got a hat! Alright, dear. At least don't forget your hat next time, in case it rains. Now, get some rest. Hey, Will. What do you want, bro? Oh, Anton! Oh, don't get up for me. I can see just fine from here. What? Let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. That's not true, I did no such thing. Relax, it's a good thing. It is? The oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you made me quite you made quite an impact on my trash talking associate, which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh, okay, okay. Or, I don't know. I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want. I don't care. New routes unlocked. Routes? Routes? The A24. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. But, uh, thank you for the invite, I guess. Um, I want to put my hat on. I'm gonna put my hat on. It feels a little too big. Boom. Boom. I got my little hat. My little hat. I look so cute with my little hat. Cannot sleep. Can only sleep at night. Well, it's not night time, mum. God. I can't sleep yet. I've got to check on my humans. Oh, it does look a bit late, actually. I gotta check on my humans. So with the A something, brother. Are oh, you you being chilling over here, mate? <laughs> we'll stay up all night. Oh yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. He always stays up watching movies, apparently. I don't know why I can't, I couldn't sleep. It literally looks like night time. Literally looks like night time. Or maybe because we're in the thicket. Oh no. It's definitely night time. Go south of Timber Crossing. Okay. Okie dokie.
Meet Barbara. You could be a nice table. Oh, who's there? Why, this is quite unexpected. My, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. <laughs> what? That's alright, you're not the first critter I met around these parts. Don't be afraid. Uh, who are you? Questioning bear noises. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell uh, Joppy Jeffrey from a blue shag. Do you know where you are? Uh, I've lived here all my life. Bear noises. Oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here. I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this side of the valley. This side of the valley. Or oh, well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore. Although, lately, I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost like something's drawing people back. Oh, I, I don't know what that is. Sorry. Sorry, love. And then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand in that? I built it with my own two paws. Confident bear noises. I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, that was quite the accomplish accomplishment to do on your own. Hope I'll see more of your handiwork soon. Alright, Barbara. See you, nerd. Oh, and she's off. <laughs> and she's off. She came from that way. Hey, oh, that's the... That's the place we can go. Our humans are asleep. I don't know why he's asleep with the light on, but sure. Whatever, buddy. What do you want? We can't get any more of those. Had to leave for today, but this is a cute game so far. Thank you for the stream, and you have a good evening. You have a good evening too, Hell. Thank you for popping in. I appreciate it. Congratulations, it seems that your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you're earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door salesman, you are presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious Pawn Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Oh, complete the stay for plus two guests. I think I, I have done that, haven't I? Have I not done that? I don't know. We'll have a little bit of a slip. Good morning. 175 from guests one. What the hell? That wasn't a lot of money. Come on, man. We got a new guest coming. Let's go. Oh, that's because this place doesn't have a light. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Wake up, nut. Oh, I can't actually get around, but there's trash there. Okay, well, we'll go around this way. Oh, I've got the desk the wrong bloody way around. Lol. Ah. Oh. Mwah. Mwah. Lovely. Uh. Refuse guests. Leaves tomorrow. So we can get two more people. Why are you green? Probably shouldn't ask that question, but why are you green? We'll get Madison in a sign and we'll get, what's that? This guest expects a higher than average comfort score during their day. Um, I think our, yeah, our decoration is 28. I'm not sure what our comfort is, but our decoration is great. So we'll get those two tomorrow. Lovely. Is he like just stuck being asleep? Bro, are you asleep forever? Wake up. Wake up, nerd. Oh no, he's uh, still asleep. Alright. Suppose that's okay. Oh, I thought that was his butt. It's not his butt. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the A24, I guess. Hello? Can I pick anything up? Doesn't look 
like, eh? Whoa, to the dump. To the dump. Uh, 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 Tookie's gonna love this. Alright, okay, let's go talk to Anton. Hello, sir. Claire? Not there either. He either skipped town again or is lining a ditch somewhere. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole. But he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Uh oh, 10 o'clock, chief. What a surprise. Our hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? No, not yet, anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. I don't think she knew, sir. Mum didn't name me. The air really is thinner up there, ain't it? Sure is. I didn't catch your name. That's because I don't throw it around. It's on a need-to-know basis. Need-to-know basis. Well, I kind of need to know. You won't get far with that attitude, kid. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. What place? Ha! What place? This place. Everything the stench touches. Listen, you haven't earned all of your questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good, bringing people back up to the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire, will you fill you in? We was lost Wade at approximately 9pm near the Black Moss border. We were out doing our scavenge runs. I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turn around and there was no weight. Just the low hiss of the swamp. Oh, I did hear a hiss in the swamp. You have any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. I've already had like four customers, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll let you keep any scrap you find here if you get us Wade back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss, that's where I'd check first. I wouldn't be sitting around here if I were you. Let me in! Bro, I'm taking your trash anyway. Do you know what I mean? I'm literally in here taking your stuff. Looks like a good place to hide a body. Oh, okay. As you do, I suppose. So, Black Moss is where we had to get the alligator weed, I think. This way? Maybe? Black Moss, yeah. I'm guessing this is how we get around the other side. Oh. Okay. What's that? Charcoal lily. I mean, there's a random sofa here. Take that for me. Thank you very much. Wait. Uh, are you, uh, do you guys see that alligator? What the hell? Okay. There's an alligator witch in the woods. I'm guessing we need charcoal lilies for something. Hello there. Hello? Oh, not this again, I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe? Bad mushrooms? Heard a noise coming from the trees? Oh no, I was just looking. Because I hate to break to you. All trees make noise. That's pretty much all they do. And they sure as hell ain't doing it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, Mum. I'm just looking for a friend. A friend here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be. He's pretty small, and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are you talking? Because small things don't last uh, a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no. It's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that thing. You should be paying me rent. Yeah. I know where your wade is at, unfortunately. Come inside. Inside? Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. Yeah. I'm too big for your boots. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello. 
Oh, here we go. And then, just before the tyre hit, Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, golly. And then what happened? We got the piece and scrammed. Wow. And what was it like? The thing? Oh, you mean the little old artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only just about the rustiest catalysmic comforter you've ever seen. Whoa. It stank too. Real bad. We think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Whoa. Twig, what I say about liaising with the criminal? Criminal where? Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one at that. Wade, are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, he is. A festering, nosy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's businesses. I was prepping him for pickling, if you know, if you need to know. His tiny bones made for great feather holders. No, you were not. You just said you didn't know how to rid of him. Shush, child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talk to Mr. A? Well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and he'd let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But she just said you wanted to go home. Uh, pfft. <gasps> but she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. So there's a value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. You won't find them anywhere else but the black moss. Or maybe the bird brain and A24 has some for sale. He just gets them here anyway. Ipswich Wholesale. Visit the shop to find new available stuff for purchase. Bring me back a few and I'll see about jailbreaking your new friend. Uh, I think I got them. I want four. I have four. Um...